Good morning children, I am Sarita Isis. Now I am going to teach you the next step in the agricultural practices that is irrigation. As you know, for the proper growth and development of the plants, they need water also. So in the last class I taught you about adding manure and fertilizer. So along with the manure or fertilizer, the crops also need water for their proper growth and development. So that process of supply of water to the crops at different intervals is called irrigation. So actually irrigation is the process of watering the field by the farmers. And the definition is supply of water to the crops at different intervals. So the time and frequency of the irrigation or supply of water depends on crops or it varies from crop to crop, soil to soil and season to season. So the time and frequency, time and frequency of irrigation. Time and frequency means, time means, so some crops need to be irrigated twice in a day and some soil also, they have no water retaining capacity so they want to, farmers need to supply more water in such type of soil and season based also. So here in first case, the time and frequency of irrigation is varying from crop to crop, soil to soil and season to season means some crops such as cereals like rice, wheat etc. they need stagnant water. So the farmers need to supply more water to such type of crops. So the time and frequency of irrigation varies from crop to crop. So more water is needed by cereals but some other crops like vegetables, they need only uh, less amount of water. So we can say the time and frequency varying from crop to crop. Like that soil to soil means, some soil has water retaining capacity and some do not have. So for such soil, the farmers need to supply more water. So the time and frequency also varies there. Then season to season. Season to season means if it is raining, no need to supply water or no need of that much irrigation. But if it is, some, if it is summer season, the farmers are forced to supply more water. Sometimes twice in a day or even thrice in a day also. So we can say that the time and frequency of irrigation varies from crop to crop, soil to soil and season to season. So such irrigation we can call it as crop based irrigation and crop based irrigation and if it is varying from soil to soil that is called a soil based irrigation. If it is varying from season to season it is called season based is it clear? Now we can see the traditional methods of irrigation. See, before that we have to see there are some sources from where the farmers are taking water for irrigating the crops. There are some sources of water. Water reservoirs are there near the crop field. That may be well, tube well or river or something else. I will show you. These are the sources of water, well, lake, then tube well, pond, river, canal, etc. These are the main sources of water. So, from these sources of water, the farmers need to lift the water. They are lifting the water from the reservoir to the crop feed. And they are using pumps to lift the water from the water bodies to the crop feed. And the pump is run by using electricity or diesel or solar energy. 
Anyway, we can see what were the traditional methods of irrigation. Traditional irrigation methods. As I told you, the farmers were lifting up water from the water bodies to the crop field by using pumps. And these pumps were running with the help of diesel, electricity, solar energy, etc. And they were using some traditional methods. We can see the traditional methods of irrigation. The farmers, in ancient times, the farmers were using mort or pulley system and chain pump system. And this is the dhakri system, dhakri. And this is a rohar or lever system. All these pictures are there in your textbook. And with the help of a pump, or we can say with the help of human labor or animals, they were using or they were irrigating crop feet. Is it clear about the traditional methods? And next we can see modern methods of irrigation. Modern methods of irrigation it is very very important. Modern methods of irrigation. So, as I told you, the farmers were using moat, rather dhakli, etc. by using human labor and animals. These are the traditional methods of irrigation. And nowadays, the farmers are using modern methods of irrigation for irrigating large-scale cultivation. And they are very, very important points. Sprinkler system. Sprinkler system and drip system. So, sprinkler system or sprinkler irrigation, drip system or drip irrigation. First, you can see what is in the sprinkler system. See, I'll show you the picture of sprinkler system. So, can you see the sprinkler system? Have you ever seen this part? Sprinkler system. In our school, the sprinkler system, you can see. And here, the sprinkler system consists of a perpendicular pipe with a rotating nozzle. So, this is the nozzle. So, rotating nozzles are there. And this is connected to a main pipe. Okay. So, we can say the sprinkler system consists of a perpendicular pipe with the rotating nozzles and that is connected to the main pipe. So, these perpendicular pipes are there at regular or different intervals. So many such pipes are there. So such perpendicular pipes are there and that are connected to the main pipe. When water allowed to flow through this pipe, so water escapes from these nozzles as if it is raining. So the farmers can irrigate the crop field as if it is raining with the help of the rotating nozzles. Is it clear about the sprinkler system? So once again, sprinkler system consists of a perpendicular pipe with a rotating nozzles and they are arranged at different intervals or different places and connected to a main pipe. When water flows through these pipes, it can the water can escape from the pipes or from the nozzles as if it is or we can say the water is sprayed on the crop as if it is raining. So this type of irrigation is uh, applicable in case of uh, the crop field which is sandy soil. In case of sandy soil, this type of uh, irrigation is helpful to the farmers. And next we can see the second one, drip system or drip irrigation. So, I will show you the picture drip irrigation system or drip system. You can see there is a main pipe that also run by using pump. And these pipes are connected to the roots of the plants. Near the roots of the plants, these pipes are connected and that consist of holes near the crop. 
these pipes are having minute pores through this the water can supply drop by drop just near to the roots of the plant so there is no wastage of water also if there is a scarcity of water in that area the farmers can use this drip system so drop by drop only the uh, water supply is uh, given to the plants so clear so drip system so clear about drip system so these are the two types of modern methods of irrigation so i hope you understood everything about the traditional methods of irrigation and the modern methods of irrigation that's all for today thank you